Welcome to CivilCAD Learning Solutions Productivity Tools Help Videos. In this video, we're going to go over the surface labels for intersections and vertices. So if you're working in the base file, I'm going to show two different examples. One is with the base file and one if you're inside a production plan sheet. So here I have a typical base file. I'm going to label, besides clicking and pointing clicking along an intersection point or a vertice, I can just select the finish, the feature. I can just select the feature line and label all of them at one time. So the first one I'm going to do is label the vert, uh, vertices. So for example, if I want to label all the vertices along this feature line or along this one, besides pointing and clicking over and over, I can do it all at one time. So let's go to the label at vertices. It's asked me to select the vertices. I'm going to select this feature line and then this feature line over here and maybe this one over here and I'm going to hit enter and at the bottom it's asked me to hit uh, select uh, the surface style it says select surface but I'm going to type in S first and I want to select the actual style for my labels so I'm going to say the let's say top of pavement um, top of curb and gutter and it's going to be X and I'll click OK it's now asking me to select the surface. My surface is on no display. I'll right click and select my PT surface. And there you go. So now it's actually included all the labels along that feature line vertices. Now I can just drag them out where I need to. So what you could do for your settings here is have a preset label style that actually has a drag state already assigned to it. On drag, you can actually have a, a leader left or right uh, that can save you some time. Now, if you're in a plan sheet, let's go to a plan sheet here, and I want to label spot label a whole grading plan. If I'm doing a commercial project, I can go and say label at vertices. It's asking me to select the line. I'm going to type in X for the X ref. I'm going to select this polyline and this polyline and maybe this one over here. Let's pick this one right there and this bottom one. Okay. And it's asking me to select a, a style, a surface, but first I'm going to say style and select my style. Okay. And now it's asking me to select a surface. Now, in order for this to work correctly, you can't select the surface through an XREF. You'll have to data shortcut in the surface. Now, my proposed surface is actually data reference into this drawing. It's on no display. I'm just going to right click and select my surface. And there we go. There's all my label styles, and I can just drag them all out. There you go and moving this out. Now if my feature line or my pod line ever changes, I can always just hit the label uh, update button feature. This allows me to it will automatically relabel the line work and remove any old so if I any old label. So if I accidentally move some vertex, like if I move this island and removed it, those labels will be gone and it will only label the actual vertices along that polyline. So you can see how much time it's, it's actually cut down on pointing and clicking. Now you've done it in two clicks. Now let's talk about the label at intersections. So for example, if you were spot labeling, I'm going to come in here, I'll select this and delete this, and you're doing maybe a airport or a big parking lot with concrete slabs or even a gas station, you need to label all the intersection points. So here I got maybe these are all my construction joints. And I need to label, spot label every one of these. Okay, and I'm just showing an example. I'm not kind of following any kind of city standards. So I'm going to say label intersection. I'm going to select these polylines. Okay. And this one, I hit enter. And it's asking me to select a surface, but I do want to select the style. Let's select my style. I'm going to say top of pavement for this one. And now I'm going to say select the surface, right click to say the PG surface. And there we go. Now, what if 
all the line work moved. Let's say the design moved and now my construction joints have shifted. And I move these. Once you shift all the lines, just like I've mentioned, you shifted everything, you can now just click the label update button and all the surface labels will automatically update. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna do the move command and move these construction joints. Show you how it works again. I think I selected them all here and I'm just going to shift it over five feet. Then I'm going to move this one, maybe another two feet up, and then click the label update button. And yes, I do want to update and delete the old labels. And as you can see here, now because I moved this one down, there's no longer a point of intersection there, and that's where those labels disappeared. So if I move those back and shift it back five feet and came back and say update, Yes. Notice that it didn't pop up because they were already gone. They wasn't there at the beginning. So just remember that. So I'm going to come back and say label the intersection of these again. And hit enter. Um, I'll type in S for the settings just to make sure. There's my OK. And select the surface. There we go. Right, so what if I move this top line down, you know, five feet and hit the label update button? Yes, it, as you can see, everything automatically updates. So it's a really great tool when you're making, doing some spot labeling. This may help if you do spot labeling at the beginning of your project, then go and finish fine tune your surface. And when the time you come back and hit the update button, it's already, already done. So. Great tool, so hopefully this answers most of your questions about using the surface label at intersections and vertices.